You can use Zapier to send SMS messages, but there are some limitations and things you have to know about how it works. That's what you're going to learn in this video as well as an alternative to get around some of those limitations. I'm Jimmy from jimmyrose.me and Content Snare, and if you'd like to learn how to get more productive and automate parts of your business, hit that red subscribe button below. First up, let's have a look at the built-in SMS Zapier integration. The best part about this is that it's totally free. I will link up to this page in the video description below, but this page is always where I go to start investigating any app that I want to use on Zapier. And I scroll all the way down to the bottom and see what uh, actions and triggers are available. This one's really simple. We just can send an SMS, that's it. But there are some pretty big limitations. If you come up here to help and then open uh, this how to get started with SMS page, some of the biggest issues here. First up at the time of recording, it only supports uh, sending messages to the US and UK at the time of me recording this video. This may change in the future, but that could be a deal breaker if you live anywhere else. Uh, and you can only send SMSs to yourself, basically, or someone on your team. So you have to have verified your phone number against your Zapier account. So obviously you can't use that to send a marketing message or a message to your client uh, because you have to go through the process of setting up that number. So basically this is only really for SMSing yourself or someone on your team. Uh, and the final one is that you can only send up to 15 times per hour. Uh, but let's be honest, you probably don't wanna be SMSing yourself uh, that often, um, but that is another limitation. But all of that said, there are some pretty cool ways you can use SMS by Zapier. Some of my favorite ways are to send yourself a notification when someone fills out a contact form, for example. So you might have a form on your website, someone fills it out. You send yourself an SMS right away with that uh, client's information so you can call them immediately wherever you are. So you can include uh, URLs and phone numbers in a text message and that'll be clickable on your phone. So that can look really good if uh, someone just fills out your form and they get a call from you like almost immediately. Um, I mean, maybe maybe wait a few minutes so it's not so stalkerish, but uh, yeah, that can look really good um, if you're on top of your contact form like that. So very, very simple workflow if you wanted to set this up in Zapier. This is a workflow I've created before for when a new client submits a uh, form. So this is a Google form. Uh, in this case, I'm doing a few other things like adding them to my CRM and putting a message in our Slack channel that they just filled out the form, but you can also then just SMS yourself. It's really that simple. If you wanted to just do the SMS, you'd have a trigger that is when they fill out the form and an action of send myself an SMS. Really, really simple. The first time you set up this SMS step, uh, you'll have to click this button here and specify the number that you're going to want to send messages to. So this is probably gonna be your own phone number. And then you have to go through the process of confirming it, right? So I can't do this because I'm not in the US or the UK, uh, but you just put in your own phone number here. Say you wanna confirm it via SMS. Uh, when you hit this button, it'll send you the pin number uh, and you just confirm it and then you'll be able to send messages to your own number. You might also use a similar workflow whenever you receive a payment or like a client signs their proposal. So that way you get a notification uh, that you know, you've know you got money received or that a client um, has signed their proposal. Same thing, you might wanna call them up uh, and say thank you and tell them what the next steps are to kick off their project. And again, just remember that you can put uh, URLs and phone numbers in text messages so that they're clickable. So you might generate a link to the person's record in your CRM. If you're using this workflow here, for example, you've added them to your CRM, you might then get that link to the client record in your CRM and include it in the SMS so that you can quickly pull up all their information while you're on the go and then uh, use that in the initial call. Now, if you're worried that the URL would be too long, there is actually a URL shortener by Zapier. So I'm not gonna dig into how to use that in this video. It's pretty simple though. You could just get the link, feed it into here, which will create a short link. Uh, and then you can use that in the SMS. So I'll, I'll leave that one up to you, but just know that that option is there. Okay, so now what happens if you aren't in one of those supported countries or you wanna send messages to clients? Well, there's another option and it's called Twilio. 
This is the Zapier page for Twilio. And Twilio is a much bigger platform. It allows calls and SMSs. Um, I'm only going to dig into the SMS uh, portion here, but if you scroll all the way down, uh, you can go over to actions and of course you can send an SMS with Twilio. Uh, with Twilio, you can actually trigger workflows when someone sends an SMS to you because you actually get a specific number um, with this one. Like you create your own phone number. And let's have a look at that now. Now just note that Twilio isn't free, but it is uh, insanely cheap. Once you've got your free account, uh, you'll come to your uh, dashboard here. Just come down to phone numbers on the left-hand side. You can see I've got a few phone numbers here already. Come up to here and click buy a number. The process is pretty simple. Uh, you, you choose your country and you can search for phone numbers, right? So maybe if you wanted the numbers, I don't know, one, two, three, four, in, uh, in your number, you can match that anywhere in the number. Uh, you only care about SMS in this case and search. Unfortunately, that one hasn't come up with any results, but I'm just gonna delete that and search. So you can try just different number combinations. You know, if you were trying to get a certain word in your number, you could uh, try typing in the numbers that make that word. But yeah, there you go. You can see here's a bunch of mobile numbers and this is $6. I believe that's Australian dollars as well. I'm not totally sure, but you know, in the US, it's probably a lot cheaper. Um, I think uh, in other countries, outside the US and UK, it becomes a little bit more expensive, but I mean, $6 a month to have that phone number. And then uh, you can check out the Twilio pricing guide. So, you know, if we were gonna do Australia, it, it might change the price here. So you can see to send an SMS is gonna cost us uh, 4.9 cents in Australia. I think it was less in the US. You can see it's less than a cent, which is <laughs> crazy. So uh, yeah, just, put your country in uh, in this pricing page and you can see how much it's going to cost you. Now, once you're done there, once you've got your number set up, uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and buy a new one because I've already got a few. If we jump back to that workflow, so instead of uh, that SMS step, you would create another one in here called uh, Twilio. You send the SMS. Choose your account. Now you probably have to set this up because you haven't done it before, but um, normally there'd just be a big blue button there that says connect new account. Uh, so go ahead and uh, follow the steps there. It's very simple. And you get quite a few more options uh, now. So we can actually choose the number we're going to send that from. So I might just pick this testing one. You can put in a sender ID. So if you've ever received a message that uh, comes from like a name, so a company name, you can put that there. You do have to set it up in Twilio first, just follow the instructions here. Uh, then you can put in the two number, right? So you don't get this option with the built-in Zapier tool because it'll only send to one of your verified numbers. This one you can send to anyone. So this could be a client's number or your own and of course, like all Zapier actions, uh, you can map in data from previous steps. So if you wanted to get like a name or some data from that initial form, uh, you could put that in the message. So again, the big difference with Twilio is that you can actually message other people like your clients. So a few ideas for this, uh, you might want to keep your clients updated on things that are going on on their projects. So you could have an automation that says, when we tick off the client onboarding step in our project management, automatically send a message to our client to say, hey, uh, we're about to kick off work. Just keep them in the loop on what's going on. Uh, or you could try creating a workflow. If you need to collect information from clients, you might try to create a workflow that says, something like if we haven't received information uh, in two weeks, then automatically send them an SMS to say, hey, we're still waiting on you for this information and we need it to start the project. Uh, this is a bit more of an advanced workflow to set up. Um, but if you're interested in this, uh, I might also recommend Content Snare, which is uh, our product as it's a dedicated tool for collecting information from clients uh, and it will automatically send SMS reminders if uh, the client doesn't give you what you need. That's it for this video. If this has helped you, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to learn more ways to automate your business and get more productive, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.